Hi Dr. Friends, welcome to my YouTube channel PG Dr. Sindranchu. Today's topic is Restuit Admission of Skeleton. It is the uh, identification chapter and you have to return it when you uh, enter in the examination hall and the one question always be asked in the medical PG exam. So please remember it. This is very important topic. I start with the risk determination. I want to say that please subscribe my channel, like, share, and press the bell icon for the latest update of my video. And watch this video till last. I start with Saplic Index. For the determination of the race, the cephalic index is most important. Cephalic index is equal to maximum breadth of the skull and maximum anterior posterior length of the skull. That means if you make a diagram of the skull, this is the anterior view, this is the breadth for more clearance, it is eye and the ear nose, so it is anterior side and it is maximum breadth and it is the anterior posterior. It is AP and it is breadth. That means biparietal diameter and frontal occipital diameter. It is the cephalic index. Cephalic index is determined for the risk determination and also in the child. The, according to cephalic index, the race is divided into three categories. The dolicocephalic, dolicocephalic, that means long-headed and long-headed, that means the CI cephalic index is approximately to 70 to 75 percent. It is found in the pure Aryans. Negroes, Caucasians, and Aboriginals. The Aryan included Indian people. So, we Indian people are dolicocephalic or long headed. Long headed that means head is this pattern that means long. And next to that, the Mesitis aphlic or medium headed, it is approximate to round, that means, sorry, it is like this pattern. It is long headed, it is medium, and another one is the brachis aphlic, that means this head is, the breath is more anterior posterior less. And a mesitic cephalic, it is the head of medium size of cephalic index is 75 to 80 and it is found in the Chinese and European. Next to that is the brachycephalic or short headed. The cephalic index of brachycephalic race are more than 80 and it is found in the mongolian okay and you can remember it by the mb mb next to that for the race determination it is the crural index the crural index is length of the tibia to the length of femur in 200 or the index, all the index of risk determination is formalized multiplied by 100. So, crural index is equal to length of tibia upon fibula. And in the European, it is 83.3 and Aryan 83.5. Indo Australian, it is 88.8 .8 and Negroes. It is 
टू दैट मीन्स ग्रेटर फॉर्मूला इंडिकेट द फीमर लेंथ इज शॉर्टर एंड टीबिया लेंथ इज लॉन्गर नेक्स्ट इज द ह्यूमेरो फ्यूमोरल इंडेक्स ह्यूमेरो फ्यूमोरल इंडेक्स इज ऑलरेडी मैंशन ह्यूमेरो फ्यूमोरल दैट मीन्स लेंथ ऑफ ह्यूमरस अपॉन लेंथ ऑफ फीमर इन टू हंड्रेड इन द यूरोपियन इट इज सिक्सटी नाइन एंड इन नेग्रोज इट इज सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर दैट मीन्स इट इज ग्रेटर वैल्यू सो ह्यूमरस लेंथ इज मोर हैंड इज मोर लॉन्गर देन फीमर नेक्स्ट टू दैट इज द ब्रेकअल इंडेक्स द ब्रेकअल इंडेक्स द लेंथ द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द ब्रेकअल इंडेक्स इज द लेंथ ऑफ द रेडियस अपॉन लेंथ ऑफ ह्यूमरस इन टू हंड्रेड इन द यूरोपियंस इट इज सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड इन आरियंस इट इज सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू टू सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड इन नेग्रोज इट इज सेवेंटी सेवन टू सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव इंडो एस्ट्रोलियम सेवेंटी एट here the greater value up to down the greater value indicates the radius length is longer than hemorrhage next is the intermembral index intermembral index it is the length of radius plus length of hemorrhage upon the length of tibia plus length of femur that means upper limb to the lower limb length into 100 in the european it is approx to 70 and also it is in negros it is 70 another is the pilastric index pilastric index it is the antero posterior diameter of the middle of the shaft of the femur and lateral diameter of the middle of the shaft of the femur into 100 it is pi it represent the linea aspera of the femur so it in aryans male have 107.6 and in female it is 106.7 in negros it is 108.6 while that of in the female 106.5 negros 108.6 and in female 106.5 the next to that is the cunningham index cunningham you already know on the it is the book for the dissection of the anatomy the great book for the anatomy dissection and cunningham index it represents development of the lumbar curve lumbar curve that means the cunningham index is equal to the sum of the post posterior height of the lumbar vertebra to the sum of the anterior height of the lumbar vertebra into 100 it is divided into the cartho-rachic orthorachic and quilo-rachic the cartho-rachic cartho its value it is the cunningham index value is up to 97.9 that means it is in aryan and ortho rachic it is 98 to 101.9 while that of quilo rachic it is 102 to above it is found in the indo australia region next to that is the length breadth index length breadth index it is maximum sacral breadth upon the mid ventral straight line into 100 it is also dolico hyric or sub plati hyric or plati hyric that means dolico hyric that means narrow sacrum and plati hyric indicates a wide sacrum in the dolico hyric or narrow sacrum up to 99.9 it is found in the negros and chinese dolico hyric is in negros and chinese and subplati hyric it is 100 to 
105.5 it's found in the rm and in the platyhari it is white zygram it is 106 to ever it's found it's found in indo australian region and the orbit orbit also determine the race if the orbit is a square it is indian or aryan and in negroes triangular it indicates it's found in chinese and european region and the rounded orbit in mongolians next to that is nasal opening nasal opening it is broad narrow elongated and rounded broad found in indian negroes while that of narrow are elongated it is found in the chinese and europeans and rounded in the mongolians next to that is the plate plate it is rectangular triangular and rounded rectangular is found in the indian and negroes triangular found in the chinese and european while that of rounded found in the mongolians so this is important topic for determination of the races thanks for watching my video have a nice day please any suggestion or advice write in my comments box thanks for watching my video have a nice day